This is why your body, your choice, isn't a thing when it comes to vaccination. Measles outbreaks are popping up all across the country, mostly in places with lower vaccination rates. In Northwest Texas, at least 58 new cases have been reported. And unfortunately, the people most at risk are kids in school. Measles is highly contagious. And before the vaccine, it's estimated that 2.6 million people would die from it worldwide. The vaccinations brought that down to 107,500. And most occur in countries with low vaccination rates. It's not just because vaccines keep the vaccinated safe. It's because they create herd immunity. Herd immunity is basically when enough people are immune to a disease, usually from vaccines, that it slows down the spread or prevents outbreak. Now, hypothetically, as many Maha heads have pointed out, you could get herd immunity through natural immunity, i.e. everyone just gets sick. But just uncontrollably spreading disease means people are more likely to die or have complications. It also gives the disease a chance to mutate, meaning you make a worse one that no one is immune to. This is basically like advocating for the plague as a health strategy. But because vaccines have become a right-wing political tool, we're moving away from that level of protection. Our new Secretary of Health and Human Services, RFK Jr., is against vaccines. He's even urged parents to resist the CDC's guidelines for when their kids should get vaccines, making them more vulnerable. And now a record share of U.S. kindergartners provided an exemption for at least one of the required vaccinations for school last year. This means 125,000 unprotected kids. So the right co-opted a left phrase to anger and scare parents enough into not protecting their kids. One choice impacts just the person making it. The other has the ability to impact all of us.